for signing in users that have been created, we'll only have one function, and that'll be the sign in function. So we'll go to the auth controller again, and sign in will have the request response and next. And here we'll need passport in order to re authenticate our user. So we'll bring in package passport up at the top. And we'll call passport.authenticate. First, we need to specify our strategy, which is local. And we'll have a callback with error, user, and info. If we get an error in authenticating our user, we're going to return from the function and say res.status 500 and send the message from error.message. If there's no user, if we don't have a user returned to us from the authenticate function, for example, it couldn't find a user in the database with the given credentials, we're going to return res.status 400 and return info.message. Then from the request, we'll have a login function. This will take our user, if we have one, it's, if it's able to find one, and we'll have an error callback. We'll say if we have an error, we'll return res.status 500 again, and return our error message. Otherwise, if we have a user, we'll pass through the user to res.json. So in order to provide the requests and response in, order, in this inner function, this passport authenticate function, we just need to make sure at the end that we call it with the parameters that we have from sign in, from our sign in handler, which are request, response, and next. So we can save, head to postman, and the route for signing in will just be slash api slash auth slash sign in. So we'll sign in with a previously created user. So we'll first change the endpoint. We'll just remove the name. We only need the email and password. And first, if we provide an email that doesn't exist, we hit send. We'll get a 400 response saying password or username is incorrect. If we don't provide any values, no email or password, we'll be told that we're missing credentials. But if we provide the right values, hit send, should get a 200 response with all of the user's data. Oh.